Hi, I'm Sam from Barn2, and in this video, we'll be discussing three easy ways to create private content in WooCommerce. Whether you want to make your entire store private or add hidden categories or products, these three methods will help you lock down your store so that only logged in users can access it. Before we go any further, you should know that all three of these methods are using one of a few plugins that are made by Barn2, including WooCommerce protected categories. This plugin allows you to password protect any or all of your WooCommerce product categories. You can also choose to show or hide protected categories and their products in public parts of your site. In addition, this plugin allows you to create private categories that are only visible to specific users or roles. The other plugin is the WooCommerce private store, which makes it easy to hide your entire WooCommerce store and make it private. Only people with the password or logged in users will be able to access it. You can choose to password protect the entire store or restrict access to specific users or user roles, such as wholesalers and administrators. These plugins are both linked below in the description and also available on our website, barn2.com. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk to giving them a go. Once you go ahead and purchase them from the website, you'll receive some zip files as well as a product key. You're going to download that zip file to your computer and upload it in the add new plugins section on WordPress. From there, it's very simple to run the installation and activate them using a product key. Don't worry too much about the setup wizard. These plugins can be customized at any time and the default settings are all we need for today's tutorial. Okay, all ready to go? Let's dive in. Our first method uses the WooCommerce protected categories plugin. Using this, we can create a password for an entire category within our store. This will protect the category and all the products and subcategories within that category with the same password or passwords that you set. So to use this method, obviously you're going to need to install the plugin on your site. And then the first thing we'll do is go to products, click on categories, and we can see the visibility for most of the categories is public but I've already added password protection to some of them. So I'm just going to see how that looks. So for specific branded hoodies, we've added passwords, password one, two, three, and really great password three, two, one, really great password three, two, one. Once you've added as many passwords as you like, you can update down here on the bottom update, and that will save all those passwords to that category. Now, anyone who wants to access that category has to use the password to get in. For example, I want to make a specific branded hoodie category in my website that's only available to my email subscribers. Now, what I can do is I can create a category just for these hoodies. I can add a password to this category and I can also hide that category from my site by removing it from the listing under the store. Now, the last thing I can do is send this password out to all my email subscribers along with the link. And when they go to that store page, they'll be prompted to enter the password which you sent them. And by doing so, they have exclusive access to this page or this category of your store. But the other uh, people who visit your store can't see it or access it without the password. The second method is to create private categories that are only accessible to certain users or people with certain roles on your WordPress site. The same WooCommerce protected categories plugin from the first method also has this functionality and it's easy to do. Now, as before, we're going to go into the product categories. We're gonna choose a category that we want to protect. Let's say I sell branded school uniforms with logos of each of the schools. Now, instead of listing all of those items publicly for sale, that would be very confusing for everyone. So what I'll do instead is I'll create the category for each customer and I'll allow access only for the logged in customer that is assigned to that category. So instead of a password protection, what I can actually do is add user roles or specific users. So for example, I could add a specific user who has a login account for my site, which could be one of the schools. If it was school one, then we would have school one as a user, or we can set them up with a certain different user role. So it could be a certain type of customer who can only see this portion of the store. Now I would have to set up different roles for each of the schools. So this is perhaps not as ideal as using the users section and just setting up each school with a different user account. And then I can update that 
and it will be available for them once they are logged in to my website. For our final method, we're going to use a different plugin. This is the WooCommerce Private Store plugin, which allows you to hide your entire WooCommerce store from public view. Only people with a password or logged in users will be able to access it. To use this method, we need to start by installing the WooCommerce Private Store plugin. Go to the settings page. Now, to do this method, the first step here is to tick the box for automatically unlocking the store for logged in users, or we can choose just to use the password method and give passwords to everyone who needs access. If we're not using the password method, we can actually hide the login form. So only when you're logged in, you can access the store. Uh, maybe play around with this method and try it out for yourself, see if you like it. Feel free to set it up however you like. You can set up different user roles here or take them away, no problem. And save your changes down the bottom. And that's it. Now, when I go to check out my website, I can see the shop. But let's see what happens when I actually change this to unchecking that. Remember the password here? Let's just copy that. Save those changes and we'll go to the website and see, refresh, the shop has actually disappeared and we have a store login request. We enter that password and boom, we are in the shop just like that. And we can access all the different products here. After that, go and make yourself a drink because the hard work is all done and your WooCommerce content is now private. I would encourage you to give any of these methods a go and let me know in the comments which one worked best for you. If you have any questions, please also let us know in the comments down below. We do love to read your comments and help you guys out. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.